now it's time to get her up and feed her breakfast. Okay, so our biggest dog, Reagan, the Newfoundland, she has hypothyroidism, so we have to give her her thyroid pill 30 minutes before she eats in the morning and 30 minutes before she eats at night. We give it to her in the Synovi G4, which is basically just like a supplement that helps her with her joints and arthritis and stuff like that. Ooh, I'm coming home. So Reagan is out. So Reagan is out of insulin syringes, so we have to run to the vet really quickly and get her all fixed up. Reagan? Okay, we got her insulin syringes and some more thyroid medication and we're headed back home. Hey Riggs. Oh thank you. <laughs> They let us call in our credit card number ahead of time and they just like quickly ran them out to the car and basically like threw them in the car for us. So that was nice and safe. So on our way home, we're just gonna take the long route so we can be out of the house for a little bit longer. I'm hoping that things haven't changed. Life took us far apart, but it never took away my heart. Have you been Okay, now it's time to go feed the dogs. Okay, so Lydia's on this maxi digest supplement to help with her gallbladder problems. We just give her a fourth of a scoop with her food morning and night and then we'll give Reagan her insulin once we see that she's eaten all of her food. Okay, Reagan finished her food so now it's time to give her her insulin. Holding it safe, cause it's been hard. Okay, so she finished her meal, we drew up her insulin, now it's time to give it to her. Honestly, she doesn't even really feel it. I just feel around until I feel some extra skin and then just inject it. Good girl, Riggs. Good girl, Riggs. See, she doesn't even care. All right, let's go potty. Okay, so we just laid her down for her nap. She'll usually sleep around two hours. This is normally when I clean up the house a little bit, put the dishes away, put the toys away. I usually make lunch for me. I will edit, post things to Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, etc. I will answer comments, and then I will set up for the afternoon. to me that she makes this so much of a mess in just a couple hours but I like to just clean up while she's napping while I have time. Okay so now that everything is all cleaned up I kind of have a few minutes to get my stuff done so I like to respond to comments on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, etc. I like to do some editing. Obviously I'm not editing today because I'm filming this for you guys but I will edit tomorrow while she's napping and I kind of like to set up some activities for the afternoon just so I know when she wakes up we're ready to go and I don't have to kind of scramble. So I'm going to do that here for a few minutes then I'll fix lunch and then um, we can go check on my husband out in the garage. I'm coming home. And of course this little sass likes to look out the front window and bark at the dogs walking by. So I have to keep her quiet so she doesn't wake up our daughter. So funny story, yesterday we were sitting out back on our porch and there's a bumblebee flying around. We were kind of just ignoring it, hoping it would go away. Uh, out of nowhere, Lydia opens her mouth and <sighs> snaps at the bumblebee. Um, it goes inside of her mouth and then she starts going and kind of like shaking so we're freaking out thinking okay we gotta get to the vet now it probably stung her inside of her mouth or her throat or something she killed the bumblebee it was laying there my husband actually found the stinger in the bumblebee which was good news we called the emergency vet they said we can't give you any advice or information over the phone you just have to bring her in we're like great so we watched her for a few minutes and we were hoping she didn't swell up we were ready to leave at a moment's notice to go to the emergency vet luckily nothing happened but we were so scared that her throat was gonna swell up and she was gonna stop breathing etc it was frightening. She likes to scare us like that. She is fearless. She would do anything. So um, I'm thankful that that was yesterday and today is a brand new day and hopefully she won't be as wild today. <laughs> yeah, right. Good luck, Sarah. You went down. She's going to go back to her window to look for more dogs to bark at, I'm sure.
So my husband is actually a dentist and they're only seeing emergencies right now. So his hours have been cut back quite a bit. So he's kind of on an unpredictable schedule right now. Some days he's home, some weeks he's working, etc. So he's home today with us actually. So come with me out to our garage so you can see the latest project we've been working on this week. Hey guys, this is my husband Grant and this is what we've been working on for the past week. Uh, we found a golf cart and it was actually pretty ugly when we got it. I'll show you a before picture. And Grant has been working on fixing it up. We're not sure if we're going to keep it or sell it, but it's been kind of fun. <laughs> so what are you doing to this next? So I've got the rear lift kit finished, f finishing up the, the front here, missing a couple bolts from the kit, so we're waiting on that. Um, and then you're gonna put a seat on the back, right, for Reagan? Yes, I am. I'm putting a seat with a big platform on it for our, our big doggy. So Reagan can lay back here, and then we'll have our daughter and Lydia in the front. <laughs> but this thing has been really fun to ride around the neighborhood, and we're so excited to get it finished here so that it's rideable again. Okay, I'm gonna go inside and make lunch and leave Grant out here to work on our golf cart. Love you. Love you. Okay, so every time we go to the store or get a grocery pickup, which we're trying to do like every 10 days or so, so we just don't have to go as frequently, they're always out of pretty much everything we need. So we've had to get a little bit creative with meals. I really want a breakfast burrito. We don't have tons of eggs, but I think that it's worth it to make one right now because it just sounds so good. So I'm going to scramble my eggs, put them in a tortilla with some cheese and some salsa. I'm so excited. <laughs> So good. Okay, so I have to be quiet because she's sleeping on the other side of the wall. But I'm gonna make something fun for her for when she wakes up. We'll stay up till morning and head out exploring. Make up for moms that we've missed. Okay guys, I'm also going to try to film a TikTok here really quickly and show you guys how I tie my shirts up like this. So I'm filming myself, filming myself. This is strange, but we're going to try to make it work. Okay, this is weird. Okay, so if you're on TikTok and you want to see this video, search for the style vlog because that's me. Okay, so it's been about two hours since she went to sleep and I just heard her peep, so I'm guessing she's awake. I'm gonna get together her snack and then get her up, feed her. Hopefully we can go on a walk, except it just started raining. <laughs> That's such a bummer. I've been looking forward to a walk all day. So I don't know, I'll keep you updated. I'm not sure what we're gonna do now. Okay, so unfortunately, since it's been raining all afternoon, we didn't get to take our walk. We've been reading lots of books, playing lots of games, and my little uh, paper towel pom-pom shoots entertained her for about 30 seconds in case you're wondering so now I'm gonna make some spaghetti for dinner the moment that I was convinced we'll stay up to morning and head out exploring make up for months that we've missed cause your lips are calling and my heart's recalling the way I could never resist it's been so hard Reagan has to eat 12 hours apart, has to be pretty precise because of her blood sugar and her diabetes. So now it's time to give her her thyroid pill in her little Synovi supplement. And then we'll wait 30 minutes and we'll feed her her dinner and give her her other insulin shot. Okay, time to feed the dogs. <laughs> Okay, so I gave Lydia her Maxi Digest powder again like we did this morning. And I'm getting ready to pull up Reagan's insulin just like we did this morning. And then at night, Lydia also gets an Ursodile pill, which basically just thins out her bile. Since she has a history of thick, sludgy bile in her gallbladder, this just kind of helps to keep her healthy. How's this for a family portrait? I'm exhausted. Are you exhausted? Yeah. <laughs> Today was a long day. We are getting ready to watch TV and snuggle our dogs. 
baby girl is asleep, hallelujah. The house is clean and oh, it's below deck night. I'm so excited. All right guys, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna go shower and go to bed. <laughs> Stay with us. I can't wait to see you next time. Bye. Bye. I'm coming home to you.